Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to Chumpox IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. And in today's episode, we're going to be generating clean energy. What are we going to need for this? Well, for starters, we're going to need a knitting needle. So I suggest you ask your mom for this and uh, they, she should help you out with this. A ruler, a marker, some tape, a square piece of cardboard, a square piece of uh, box board, couple of candles, scissors and a straw. So let's get started. How, does this, how is this going to work? Start off by taking a little knitting needle and drive it right through the center of your box board. Be very careful. Please ask your parent to help you out with this. Don't poke yourself. Once you sent it through, try to make sure it sits flat on the ground. Now this will shake a little bit. What you should be doing is taping it down a little bit. So I've got some Parika tapes here. And I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to be using these tapes to make sure my knitting needle stays up straight. Maybe throw on another piece as well. Yep. Now that that's done, let's keep this aside for just a bit. Now let's make the turbine. Now the turbine is the part of our clean energy source device that's actually going to be doing all the work. What are we going to need? Well, we're going to need a small square piece of paper. This is ideally supposed to be made of chart paper or cardboard. What we do is we take our ruler, we draw lines from one diagonal to the other. Do this on both sides. Then you take your ruler and you're supposed to measure how wide your square is and find out where exactly the midpoint lies. Now my square as you can see is 9 centimeters wide. So 4.5 is half of 9. So I make a point here. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing to the other sides as well. All you need to do is just make sure your scale is nice and straight, your ruler is nice and straight. So once you've done drawing the lines, you should have something that looks like this. You will have a very clear center point. Now keep keep this point in mind. What we're going to be doing, doing is drawing a small circle around this. So we take our marker once again. Use a compass to draw the circle. It just makes things a little easier. You just have to keep it at the point where all the lines intersect. You take your scissors then. And now it's time to start cutting down these lines. Now when you're cutting these lines, one, ask your parent to help you out and two, be careful, stop right when you reach the edge of the circle. Don't go beyond the circle. Stop right at the edge, sort of like that. Do the same thing for all the other fans of the turbine as well. All right, so I've made all this, all the cuts that I need to make on my turbine. So you have something that looks like this. Now we take the ruler and start making, start, start folding these wings. So what we do is we now take our ruler, we place it at the edge, at the point where your first turbine touches the circle and your other end needs to be at the opposite corner of the edge of the wing. So you place your ruler right like this and you gently fold it. Now don't make a crease. If you make a crease, the whole thing is going to get ruined slightly. Don't make a crease, just bend it just a little bit. Do the same thing for all the other, other wings as well. Just gently fold it without making a crease. So your turbine is now done, it should look like this. Try to make sure that these wings aren't overly bent. If they are, you can fix that, it's very simple. All you have to do is find a book, place this within the leaves and push it down nice, nicely. So once you're done, once you pull it out, it should look sort of something like this. Next, we take a straw. We take our scissors when we cut a tiny piece of it. Uh, it should be about that much. Huh? I'll be back. So now that I have this small piece of straw with me, we have to attach it right to the center, right here. So you can either use glue, but I've got some pre-cut tapes that I've hidden very nicely here. I'm going to use them. Once again, you need to be very careful. Try to make sure that your straw stands up nice and straight. Use as much tape as you want, use as much glue as you want. You have to be a little patient when you're making this, because this is the important part of the entire device.
and we're done. And if you remember the little stand we, we used, we made earlier, well, let's bring that back and let's take our little turbine and set and use the straw thingy. Set that on top of the, of the tip. There, you have something that's spinning already, but this is spinning because I pushed it. Here's where the, in, in, the unique thing comes in. We're gonna be using heat to spin this. So we're gonna need a couple of candles. We're gonna put them down here. Then we're going to ask an adult to light these candles for you. So I've got a little lighter here, you can use a matchbox. Yep, and there you go, it spins on its own. So let's get down to how this actually works. Well, we've got candles, candles are fire, and fire heats things. So the interesting thing is fire also heats the air around it. So we're specifically talking about the air in this area here. When this area, when the air in this area is heated up, it starts rising because it becomes lighter than cold air. When that rises, it catches these wings. You know, these, these small angles we've got here, it catches it and starts spinning it. And well, that's basically how it works. Now, this is not too different from solar updraft towers, which are used to generate clean energy. Now, the tower is made up of a glass house with a tall chimney in the middle. The chimney has a lot of turbines arranged along the height and when these turbines spin, they generate electricity. Now an interesting property glass has is that it allows heat to travel only in one direction. It can either enter, if it enters, it can't go back out. So when the sun heats up the air inside the glass house, it starts to get lighter and rises. The only way out is the chimney and they start spinning the turbines on the way up. So try this at home, tell me what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. My name is Niranjan, this was Champak Psyche brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much and please subscribe.